Go! Run! Oh my god, he's getting so close! Shit, it's barricaded. Oh, it's barricaded as well! Fuck! F fuck! <laughs> Jesus! Alright, we got two going. We got two going. Which one? Which I feel like knife attacks aren't gonna do. Ah, shit, there he is. Oh, fucking yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another one. Another one. So we're talking about part, part, <clears throat> I can't speak, part four. That's pretty fucking decent. I like it. So how's everybody been? How have y'all been? Um, oh, damn it. Wasting bullets already. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. Doing pretty good, actually, if I say so myself. And, um, yeah, just kind of chilling. Hope you guys are doing fine as well. Uh, we're going to continue where we left off last time. Uh, I did went back to get a, a bunch more bullets and everything. Uh, sold my junk. Uh, just so we can have a bit of a better chance going in it next time. Considering that daddy kept his hands. Get away! Right, here. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Right, so we gotta be careful of the steam. Shit. Sell me, I think. Oh, yeah, Come on, bobbing and weaving, baby. Bobbing, ow. Bobbing and weaving. Cannot use while I'm in combat. Who am I using in combat? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so guys, if you're curious if the giveaway is still on, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, currently, we're at 35 comments last I checked, and it went fast as hell. So get ready, because the giveaway is coming soon. Um, I've been thinking, considering uh, the responses on the video, of course I said 50, um, which is very unlikely, because if you looked at my earlier videos, I was never even getting close to 50 comments and um well not gonna lie it exceeded my expectations and it went a lot better uh than i could have possibly hoped for i believe um so yeah i'm pretty excited about that thank you so much for the support on that by the way it's uh it's absolutely been overwhelming thank you so much Oh man, we're low on mana. We got one more of those guys. My companion's dead as well. Let's see if we can get him this corner. But he can't hit me. Yeah, I'm out of mana on this one too. Ugh. I think this one's a pretty strong one as well. Let's see if we can maybe sneak around him. Find some stuff. Oh, gee. Go! Run! Oh my god, he's getting so close! Shit, it's barricaded. Oh, it's barricaded as well! Fuck! F fuck! <laughs> Jesus! Alright, we got two going. We got two going. Which one? Which I feel like knife attacks aren't gonna. Do. Ah, shit, there he is. Gonna do jack shit to him. I feel like this is a stronger one than the other ones. Just got some glue. Let's see where do I even go next? Where is he now? I, I'm like, I can't tell. There he is. You guys think we can? Is my health? Does my health keep regenerating, or does it just do it to a little bit? Oh my god. My sneak is garbage in this game. Oh crap! Oh no! I didn't mean to focus! I pressed Q accidentally. Oh my shit. Alright, let's give that another go. This time within, without going, uh, whatchamacallit, balls deep. <laughs> Straight into the enemy base. Might be, uh, you know, a good idea. 
If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the rail? Ugh, they're gonna spot me for sure. Alright, so far so good. The combat drones are really annoying. Somebody in the comments gave me a really good tip to avoid the shiny pew pew ball, so that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Learning from the best. Alright, um... <laughs> so yeah, uh, the dilemma I had... I think that's a lot of earlier was that um, of course it's because of the huge response that exceeded my expectations I was kind of thinking maybe um, I should give the way give away the game twice instead of giving it away one time maybe I should just give it away twice um, the reason for that is because I've just been incredibly overwhelmed with the support we've been getting so far um, to make it easy for you, it's not going to be at 100 for two. It's just going to stay at 50. Uh, no changes there. Just uh, a little bit of appreciation for the support I've been getting so far. It's really, really being incredible of what everything has been uh, that's been going on. Maybe I should focus on the game instead of talking so much. <laughs> so we're going to be continuing. And um, yeah, I thought that might be a fun idea. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and have to do that, because, um, well, you know. A happy camper over here. Oh, so that one does, and this one, you sure it doesn't go open? Oh, it opens now, okay. We gotta be careful, because how much ammo do we have left? Zero, how about this one? All right, we still got some left in that one. 44 bullets, that's pretty decent. So I did learn, uh, when you go back into the game, you gotta really look around for fat loots, because... Oh, I already looted these people. Okay, so we're just gonna continue then. Uh, gotta go up here. We're back here. I'm confused. Oh, did we get all three already? Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Oh. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Um, I know exactly what I'm doing. I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. What do you guys think, Parvati? A girl? What's her opinion? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. <sighs> Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. All right. That's a fair point. Um, Reed tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers and power. The deserters are a community. I can't just destroy what they built. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Okay. Well, let's Sorry, do it I then. Didn't like that. I just I felt like I had to say something. Hey girl, if you got something in your mind, that, that's what we do. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Don't worry about it. I barely listen to you. <laughs> Don't worry, babe. You can keep talking. All right, I'm glad I'm hearing really? from you. I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Okay, so, um, what do I do? I guess I made a decision already? I can't tell. Okay, so it doesn't tell me that, uh, I listened to her opinion. So what's exactly what I gotta do now? Okay. Um, warning. Safety failure detected. 
Are you sure you want to continue? Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. Okay, so that's the one we're going to be doing. Redirect power to Edgewater or to the Botanical Laboratory? Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to give it to Edgewater. All right. We did it. I heard her opinion, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and agree with it. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we already, oh, we keep pressing that button, already accessed the file. We went the wrong way. All right. All right, so quickly what I have been uh, definitely noticing about the game is that it has so many aspects of games that I freaking love. Uh, you guys pointed it out in the comments a few games as well. I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a bit of a Skyrim vibe from this shit as well, and that's... Um, well, that's just amazing, because this is a combination of a lot of fun games, and I'm having a blast. So that's pretty good, Niels Puppet. You're damn right it is. Alright, um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna be continuing. Continuing down the shadow of the valley of death. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, is fast travel a thing, by the way? Is that a thing? Yeah, you can just fast travel. Holy shit, that's decent. So I guess right now we're going to go to the botanical lab and we're going to be taking our power regulator. It's good if we can, um, if we can, by the way, uh, what oh, you would call it, fast nice. travel. So I don't have to Please edit all my videos. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, went the wrong way. Oh yeah. Power rig How the hell do I get there though? That's a weapon modifier. Oh yeah, that reminds me of that space. So how does that work exactly? Install a mod. Oh, I got a mod. Should we do that? All right. Uh, I did it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. All right, any stuff we need to repair? How much does that cost to repair? Six. Okay. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and figure that one out later, and I'll let you guys know in the next one. Uh, for now, we're just gonna take a power regulator. Oh boy. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped wow. you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Damn. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil. And my flock will starve. Well? I want to ask you this in private. Away from the eyes of my flock. So they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me. Why did you do it? Uh, it, this isn't personal, Adelaide. I need your power regulator. I don't owe you an explanation. Reed needs his people back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye um, and tell them their life here is over. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. You know what? No, this I just kind of want my power regulator. <laughs> I don't care. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Well, considering your age, that one shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't take too long. I'm going to deal with Reed for you. You're being unreasonable. Come back to what happened to you, Adelaide. All this anger has to come from somewhere. You know what? I don't need to talk. I just want my damn power regulator. See you later, bitch. So as you guys might know, my conscience isn't clean. <laughs> I don't give a shit. All right, so we're going to fast travel right back to the landing uh, site. Let's not fast travel too much because... Uh, well, what's happening? Okay, let's not fast travel too much because that might uh, not be too fun for the. Is this your ship? Seeing the country. Oh my stars, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Well. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but. Every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. 
You've never been in a ship before? Those people in Edgewater need you? I can understand I want to go back. You didn't seem too happy in Edgewater. Well, that's well, the one. kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves from my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship sitting. Oh man, she knows her G-valves from a catalyzers. Eyes, your catalyzers. That's a woman that right there. That's a whammon right there. You know what? I'm not interested. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm glad to have you along. Pick a cabin. It's yours. Are you sure Reed won't mind you leaving with me? You just met me. Why would you want to go in space with a stranger? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. All right, let me know. Edgewater was on the verge of collapse before you showed up. You sent them power, and now the town <sighs> might see another season. Ah, that's what you gotta do, guys. All this time, you've been every time you take a sip, you gotta go. Back, <sighs> get your ship We're up not and really running, enjoying it. Cut a path out of Trust space. me. Try it. And well, it works. I want it. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, pick yes. a cabin. Is yours? I mean, thanks. <laughs> you won't yes. regret this, Mister Captain. I can call you Captain now. Okay. <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> I got a captain. All right, guys, we're going on our ship, power regulator and all. Yeah, we hurt some people, but you know what? They didn't seem captain, too nice to begin I have with. Detected. What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I got a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? No. But uh, I could imagine. Oh, I have level 25 engineering, so yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Oh. Our engine room is located behind <laughs> I hope I can across the cargo bay. Fix a catastrophic um, crash with my level 25 engineering. But you don't know. You never know. Something you gotta get used to. You gotta press E to get up ladders instead of just jumping into them. It's just it's little things, you know? It's a small thing. All right, that looks decent. So she's the only person in our crew currently. Um, ow. Oh, you heard that crack? All right, so um, she's the only person in the crew right now. I'm curious if you can uh, you, start recruiting more people. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Nice. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, here we go. Ah, there you are. All right. Hale and hearty and captain all right, of your right. own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing. <laughs> <I laughs> natural you. drippage, huh? Okay. Uh, I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably perfect. <laughs> I won't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Okay. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. All right, so how do we do that? You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have okay. contacts there. They will right. help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals <laughs> to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy wow. little black marketing outfit on Gladys. the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay, uh, why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. All right. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, 
navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Oh, it's like a the yeah, board's it's been confiscating okay. nav keys for Google, Google, Google Maps. So we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. <laughs> All right. Uh, right, the Black Marketeer. What's stopping me from just leaving a Hulk key on altogether? Can I land someone south of Stella Bay? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. <laughs> Very Cascadia theoretic. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. I see. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. All right, fine, I'll go to Gladys. What about Gladys person? How do I know I can trust her? What's stopping me from just leaving hell, Kian, altogether? Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. A skip drive? Look, I admire your optimism. Oh, that's like hyperspeed but the sad truth is, right? you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. I see. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. All right, all right. Fine, I'll have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. Let's do it. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting edge technology, years ahead of its time. <laughs> oh, God. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. Shroud, speak You'll to find it in the, the captain's breaker. quarters. I'll put it to good use. Uh, you want to explain what a holographic shroud is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Ah, oh, that's dope. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Huh, all right. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Okay, that sounds pretty decent all. Uh, put it in Excellent. good use. Thanks. I'll contact really you once you've found else. a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. Will do. And remember, don't trust the board. I won't. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. Really? The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I think that will be a pretty good part to end the episode with. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you haven't done so already. And guys, don't forget to submit to part one because the giveaway is coming. And to the diehards who are sticking around for part four and watching this too, uh, well, you, you know, you're in. <laughs> so good luck. And uh, again, thank you so much for all the support we've been getting. Alright, bye-bye!